With a year and a half to explore Mars, astronauts will need a new rover to travel farther and keep them alive for longer. At Johnson Space Center, Bill Bluthman shows off the rover of the future. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, space exploration vehicle. The biggest change is that the crew will track in the safety of a pressurized cocoon. Inside this cabin, you'd explore in your shirt sleeves. We thought if we took the crew, put them inside a pressurized area where they could explore, you know, one day at a time, three days, 14 days, we could really see the surface better. The second new design feature is its ability to move in any direction. It has infinite steering, so these can spin effectively forever. We sometimes call it omni-drive or crab drive. The ability to drive sideways allows the rover to dock with the habitation pod and other rovers. But the most distinctive element of the new rover is found at its rear. So on the back side here, we have really a new concept, um, which is what we call a suit port. The suit port means the suits never come into the rover. Instead, astronauts will climb into them from inside, seal the backpack on, and then detach from the rover. A design feature directly inspired by the Apollo missions, where contamination from the surface was a real issue. Dust can get into the lungs and corrupt instruments, but with suit ports, this will no longer be a problem. Not only that, but these new suits will remain pressurized, saving hours of prep time with the traditional suits. If you're exploring on a surface and you saw something you might not have expected, if it took you 46 hours to get out and put your hands on it, do a sample of it, that might not be the best approach. Whereas if you get in and out in 15 minutes, you really can get back on your uh, exploration path. 